Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you my GameCube collection. Now, before I get started, I should tell you that, one, I don't have the original case to some of my games, and two, some of the games don't even have cases, so I had to give them temporary cases until I can find a new case. Now, with that out of the way, let's get started. Also, I probably do an update video when I gain a lot more games, or... You know, when, when I get enough, and I'm probably also going to do a little bit of my Game Game Boy collection when I get more of that, but let's start with the Mario games. First off, we have Super Mario Sunshine. Now, this game is really good. I actually enjoy this, and I view this as the true successor to Super Mario 64. Now, let's take a look inside. This, I have the original manual for, which I, I love having the manual and the disc. All right. Next is, now there are a few stickers on here, sorry for that. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, it even has, wow, it's like a fossil at this point, blockbuster. Anyway, this is my Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, amazing RPG series, and I wish the newer Paper Mario games were much more like this and the first game on the Nintendo 64. All right, and then my last Mario game I have now I'm going to be getting more, trust me. I want to get Luigi's Mansion as soon as possible. But this... Oh, hang on, I didn't, I didn't show you the inside. I'm sorry. Original manual and a disc. And the original case, too. GameCube case. Okay, and then my third and final Mario game is Mario Kart Double Dash. I love this game. This is my second favorite, but my first favorite is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch. But this is a close second. I love this. The two people on the carts, that's an amazing, you know, idea. I wish they'd bring that back to future titles. And again, manual, disc, original GameCube case. Now let's move on to the Zelda games, which I can't say the same thing for, sadly. Sadly, none of my Zelda games I have the original case for, or even the manual. So, first, we have the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest bundle. I got that at Game Exchange for that price. That's really good. Because there's the receipt and everything, okay? Here's the original disc. It's not even the original case. It's a PlayStation case. Yeah, a Nintendo game in a PlayStation box, but... It, the disc is in really good shape. Okay. Now this is one of my favorite Zelda games I own. The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Now the reason this one is really cool is because it comes with Zelda 1, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. All on one disc and it even has a Wind Waker demo. That's really cool. So that's four games in one. Really nice. Now, let's take a look. Yes, yes, very nice. Very nice. And I don't have Wind Waker yet. I plan on getting that as soon as I can. Okay, next up we have The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the GameCube. I don't have the original case to this, and I'm pretty sure this is even a fan-made case. It's a really nice case, though. I like it. And it's a Wii case. I had the, They gave me a Wii case when I ordered it, but there's the game, no manual, just the disc in really good condition. Well, better than nothing, I suppose, and it is a nice, sturdy case. Now, sadly, I don't have the Wind Waker, like I said, so no other Zelda games, and I only have one Metroid game, and that's the original Metroid Prime. And for some reason, it has this Kmart stuff on it that is unremovable. And it says there's a wave bird included, but this didn't come with a wave bird. I had to buy that separate. But the cool thing about this, it came with absolutely everything. The disc, original GameCube case, and a couple manuals, actually. The Metroid Prime manual. Prime time. You know, the health thing. Confidential subject Metroid. And then a couple things for, you know, Metroid Fusion, which I actually do have. Great condition, by the way, but very soon I'm going to be getting Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Alright, now to the Star Fox games. 
First up, I have Star Fox Adventures. Not a lot of people like this game for some reason. I have no problems with it. I think it's pretty fun. Original GameCube case, and it even still has the manual. And the disc is in good condition. So, that's good. Now, I don't have the original case to this, but I do have Star Fox Assault. I plan on ordering cases for a lot of these. Ooh, another fossil. But anyway, the disc is in really good condition. I love this game, too. It's just like classic N uh, Nintendo 64 Star Fox. It's what I love. All right, next up we got Animal Crossing. Now, sadly, I don't have the memory card or the... Uh, the manual for it, but the disc and original case is still here. I plan on ordering that memory card and that just for a complete Animal Crossing thing. Because New Horizons is coming out in a few days, and I plan on probably digitally getting it because of, you know, COVID-19 or whatever. Coronavirus. I don't care, YouTube. I'm going to say it if I want to. All right, and this is the last first, well, technically it's a second party game because it was made by Sega, but it's a first party Nintendo series. I have F-Zero GX. I don't have the original case or manual or anything. And it's another PlayStation case, but F-Zero GX is really great. And it's very fast and very difficult. Okay, but this, like I said, is the last first party technically game so now let's go to third party all right for my first third party game i have soul Calibur 2 with link link was a special guest character in the gamecube version only now place the playstation 2 and original xbox version had guest characters too xbox had spawn who is going to be in mortal kombat 11 very soon very happy about that and Heihachi Mishima from Tekken, which I need to start playing Tekken. I might get Tekken 7 soon, but eh, I don't even have the, the health thing, no instruction manual, but it is the original GameCube case. And original cover art, too, so that's, that's good. All right, next up, now this is a trilogy I have, and I still need to get two more to have a complete set, but here are all the Resident Evil games for the GameCube I own. First up, Resident Evil Zero. Great game. Uh, the controls are a little hard to get used to at first, but trust me, after a while you will get used to it. Great game. Oh, and also, original case, two discs, original GameCube case. Very nice. Next, Resident Evil 4. I love this game very much. This is my favorite Resident Evil game, and I got this from Game Exchange, and oh my god, look, original, um, you know, manual and two discs, wow. Great game, I love it. Now, this one was a steal, because I got it for $40, and it's usually going for $70. Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Now this game... Oh wait, now that, now that I'm thinking about it, I actually need three more games. Resident Evil 1 Remake, then 2 and 3, but, you know, Code Veronica X. I did not... It did not come with the original manual or anything, just two discs and the original case. Alright. Now, we're gonna get into some of the other third-party stuff. Alright. Here's Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. I love Metal Gear Solid, and this was the first game I ever played. And it's basically an HD remake of the first game. Very nice, very nice indeed. Original manual and everything. And even an original GameCube case. Now next, Tales of Symphonia. I love this RPG series. This is extremely fun and addictive. And it's basically Robin from Teen Titans who plays this dude. Lloyd Irving, who I hope gets into Smash. Original case and a manual and everything. <clears throat> Alright. Next. Now, I've been thinking about getting SSX Tricky. But SXX on tour? That right there is the reason I got it. You can go snowboarding with Mario, Luigi, and Peach. It's great. Yep. It's pretty good. Next. Oh, before I put this back, this is actually when EA actually tried with their games and they weren't a pile of dookie. Alright, here we got 
Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. This game can be a little difficult at first, but it is super duper fun. I recommend it. Don't really have much in there, sadly. But it's an original GameCube case. Oh, I forgot to look inside SXX. Nothing. <gasps> now here's a two-parter. Uh, the first one I don't have, um... I don't have the original case too, but I got Lego Star Wars right here. Uh, this was one of the first video games I ever played. I love it. It's it's great. It's actually one of my favorite Lego games. And then we got Lego Star Wars 2. Sadly, it doesn't have the original manual. It does have the health thing and an original GameCube case. So that's good. Another one of the first few games I ever played, Ed and Eddie, The Miss Adventures. Not a lot of people like this game, but I actually love it quite a bit. This is one of the first games I ever played. I love it. It's a great game, and I highly recommend it if you're a fan of Cartoon Network or Ed and Eddie. Second to last, in, in an actual case anyway, is Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. This was the very first Scooby-Doo video game I ever played, and I love this game very, very, very much. This is like one of my favorite games to play whenever I'm bored. It has all the original monsters from the original series. And all, a lot of the good voice actors. It even has Don Knotts in there. So give it a try. This is a good game. Alright, the last game I have in the case. Now you guys gotta promise you won't laugh at me or any anything like that, okay? But uh, this game was actually pretty fun when I was younger. Light. Don't judge me. This this game was actually pretty fun, and it still is. I, I wow, this game was actually surprisingly good. Cause you you wouldn't think a licensed game like based on that would be very good, but it actually is. It's really fun, and I love throwing parties and cooking in that game. Man, it's great. Now I have two games that do not have any cases at all, but I plan on buying some very soon. First up, Spider Man Two. Do I even need to go into a reason why I have this game? This is a good game. This is like Spider-Man PS4 before Spider-Man PS4. If you can't, if you don't got a PS4, like I do, sadly, this is a good alternative. Now, my last game I have not shown yet. Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. This game is amazing it is i feel like it's super duper 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 underrated i feel like it also needs an hd remake get to it nintendo now i'm not really sure if this even qualifies as a game but i also got an action replay basically cheat codes for all of well not all of them but most of these these games that i can just cheat at to my heart's content but i rarely do that so Catch you next time, guys, and I will be doing a update video when I get a lot more games. Bye-bye!